After my glowing review of the iFootage monopod last month, one of the most asked questions in the comments was if I've tried their tripods as well. And at that time, the answer was, not really. But today, the answer was yes. Yes, I have. Let's get undone. Gerald Undone. He's crazy. What's happening, everybody? I'm Gerald Undone, and I am inevitable. So after your request on the last video, I thought it would make sense to requisition some tripods from iFootage so that we could test them out. And iFootage also agreed to sponsor this video so that we could do a tripod giveaway. I'll be picking a commenter on this video to send a tripod to, and all you have to do is let me know which of the three tripods that we talk about today you like best and why in the comments below. But I'll touch more on this again at the end of the video. So we've got three models here. We've got the TC7, which is the carbon fiber Gazelle Fast Bowl, and then two sizes of the carbon fiber Gazelle Uprise, the TC6 and the TC5. So before we get into what's different about them, let's talk about what they all have in common. Starting with the top and working our way down to the bottom, they all start with a 3 8 inch mounting thread on the top. And they all have a leveling option, which is one thing that makes these tripods really nice to work with. That's done a little bit differently though. On the Uprise, there's this little wingnut-esque collar on the top that when you loosen, now you can adjust the position of the head. And on the fast bowl, you just turn this knob underneath and then you can go about it that way. And this is really great because that way you don't have to go through the meticulous task of trying to balance a tripod that might be on uneven terrain by making one of the legs slightly longer than the other and keep working out of that way. You can just level it off how you like like this and then tighten it down. And there's a bubble level on the top of all three of them to make that job easier. Moving down, all three have the exact same way and convenient way of widening the stance. You just push the leg in a little bit and then you pull out this brace and now you can adjust the leg as wide as you want and when you get to the terminal point, it'll lock back in so that you don't go too far and then if you want to go back down, it'll lock each step of the way down. This is much nicer than having to use the often, the often used way where you have to push a button and hold it in place the whole time and then go up and down. I find that's much harder to do. This is very convenient and it's a really good design. And of course, all of the tripods can get very low to the ground this way, but they do have different methods of achieving that and we'll get to that in just a second. They all have a grip on one of the legs which helps with carrying and also will keep your hands warm when it's cold outside, but this is probably more of an issue with the aluminum models than it is with the carbon fiber. And then just like we discussed with the monopod, they all have those signature red eye footage buckles, which I think look really good and they're very secure and work extremely well. And each one of them has a tool that you can use that's attached to the leg in order to adjust the tension of the buckles. And if we move all the way down to the bottom, each one of them has a rubber foot that you can actually screw up to reveal a spike underneath that'll be useful for different terrain. Now if we just focus on the two models of Uprise, the TC5 and the TC6, they're pretty much identical except for the size. The TC5 is a four segment tripod that can be collapsed all the way down to just 21 inches or 52 centimeters, making it the ideal choice for travel. The TC6 is just a little bit longer when collapsed at 25 inches or 64 centimeters. They both weigh the same at about 1.9 kilos or just over four pounds and feel surprisingly light in the hand. But the TC6 is capable of a higher maximum payload at eight kilograms or 17 and a half pounds, where the TC5 is only capable of six kilograms, which is about 13 pounds. Now, of course, there are aluminum versions which are cheaper, but they're about 25% heavier and have about a 25% lower max payload. A couple features that both of the uprises have that I like is this 3 8 inch accessory port on the side that you could use for attaching a friction arm or something, as well as this strong metal hook on the bottom, which is not only detachable, but is capable of holding a 15 pound sandbag with no visible bending. I've always appreciated a tripod with a hook. Now the center column is obviously designed so that you can increase your working height by loosening off this secondary wing nut collar thing, which will allow you to raise the center post like that. But you can actually also unscrew the center column from the bottom by loosening this red sleeve here, which unscrews the thread all the way through. Then you can pull the center column out. And this will allow you to get the tripod really low when we cock those legs out again. But also you can take the head off if you unscrew this now, pull this out, and then you could use it underneath in an underslung mode and attach your camera down here if you wanted to loosen it differently. And now you can use the center column upside down in order to make that underslung mode even lower than it would be otherwise. And these features are available on both the TC5 and the TC6. Now moving over to the TC7, which is the fast bowl, we don't have any of the center column tricks like we do with the TC6 and the TC5 or the accessory port, but we do have this handy little 
unthreading ability here which you can use to level it as well as a button on the side that we can press to quickly remove and swap out 75 millimeter bowls. And even though this is the longest of the three tripods at 28 inches or 51 centimeters when collapsed, it's also the lightest at 1.86 kilos and it has the highest payload at 9 kilograms or 20 pounds. The build quality is consistent throughout the three and it really just comes down to which features are important to you. One of the things that I like that all three of them have, which the monopod also had, is remember I showed you that if you, you can slide them out slowly and quietly and there's like little rubber gaskets in between that kind of absorb the shock when you close it. It's got that, it's got the whole air release system so they don't really fall loudly. They're, they're all built really, really well. It would just come down to whether or not you think that the fast bowl is more convenient for you if you wanted to be switching out bowls, if that was more your thing, or if you're somebody that wants a little bit of the extra height from the center column, because... Even though the TC6 is shorter, when the center column is extended, you can actually reach a higher working height, and it's quite stable. Now, it might not be as stable as the fast bowl when at similar heights, but I've used other tripods that actually get pretty janky when you deploy the center column all the way up, but I would say the iFootage ones are pretty good. But I suppose this extra stability does come at a small con of something that I've noticed to be a little bit inconvenient, which is that it does take a bit more work in to unscrew this collar, and then the center column is a little bit stiffer than other ones I've used to get it down, but my thinking is that it's because of this collapsible collar that's on the inside here. So in order to get that strength, it kind of takes a little bit more work to get the center column up and down. But I'm willing to do that because I'm a big fan of center columns and I would say that overall the TC6 is probably my favorite of the three. Now the fast bowl does get a little bit credit for being fast when it also comes to getting low to the ground as well because it has no center column so you only really have to widen the legs and then you can get down where on these two you're going to have to take the center column out or put in an underslung or something if you want to get it down to the same lowness. So overall I would say get the fast bowl if speed and just sort of simplicity is what's important to you, or if switching out bowls is something that's important to you. I like the TC6 as sort of a best balance. Now the TC5 doesn't actually have to give up much in order to accomplish its smaller size when compared to the TC6, so that's a pretty great feature, but it does come at a higher price because you have to pay for those extra tubes and the extra buckles. Now speaking of price, the TC7 comes in at $299 for this carbon fiber version and $179 for the aluminum version. And it's the same for the TC6, 299 for the carbon fiber and 179 for the aluminum. But the TC5 is a little bit more at 339 for the carbon fiber and 219 for the aluminum. And like I said, you're paying a bit more for that compactability and the fact that it actually requires more hardware in order to collapse it to that smaller size. Now this might seem like a lot of money at first glance if you're new to tripods, but it's important to remember that tripods are an investment and will likely outlast the rest of your gear by potentially decades. Hell, I still use a 20 year old Manfrotto tripod as my B-sticks and other than looking a little bit dated, they still perform remarkably well. And speaking of Manfrotto, iFootage is still giving you a pretty decent discount off of the bigger brands. For instance, my carbon fiber Manfrotto over there, which is pretty much identical in functionality to this tripod, cost about $80 US more. So in short, if you're in the market for a tripod, I highly recommend that you give iFootage a look, and I hope that this video helped you better understand the different models that they offer. Oh, and before I forget, because I know somebody's gonna ask, let's talk about the maximum heights of all these tripods. So this is the fast bowl fully deployed, this is the TC6 deployed with the stand, and this is the TC5 deployed without the center column. Let's do their maximum working heights first. So we'll pull this one all the way up. So you can see, I'm six foot four by the way, so you can get a sense of all these, and they don't have a head on them. So imagine putting a head on top and then a camera on top of that. But if we do from the ground, this one is just over five feet at 61 and a half inches. I'll put that in centimeters on the screen. And this one, 64 and a half inches. And if we drop the center column down, about 53 inches. And then the compact, almost travel tripod version, the TC5, 58 and a half inches with the center column deployed, about 49 and a half inches.
So which is your favorite of the three? Let me know in the comments below which one you liked best and why, and I'll be picking one lucky winner to send a tripod to. But that's gonna be it for me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, make sure you leave it the old thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. But if you did not find this video helpful or entertaining, feel free to hit the dislike button twice. All right, I'm done. <laughs>